Hey guys, welcome to Friday. Good morning to you, wherever you are. Um, still have a headache. Luckily, I don't feel these headaches when I'm sleeping, Whew, thankfully. But I don't like waking up with them right away either. And um, I did spend uh, like 10 minutes this morning just stretching and stuff like that. You know, stretching the muscles and... You know, when I do these neck twists and whatnot, oh my gosh, it's amazing the crackling and all this that I hear. Ugh, yuck. Um, I am at work, though. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and hear in a second. But, uh, my husband's appointment is this morning, and I am not going to lie. I've been just nerved up about it and I know he's nervous too he's a little bit stressed and it just scares me um and I I'm praying about it and I know that a lot of you have too and I I just want to thank you for that um and I he said he would call me you know as soon as he knows so <sighs> deep breaths and I'm going to listen to some music this morning at work and just hope trying not to stress about it. It's in my nature. Alright guys, thank you so much. I'll see you at lunch, okay? Hey guys, how are you? It is lunchtime. It is 12.53. I have not heard from my husband yet from his appointment. And I must say that this morning has been rough, to say the least. Um, I am getting a new laptop at work, so all I managed to do is get my restage prep work done. Um, I didn't talk to anybody on the phone. I My headache that I had this morning just amplified at work. And um, When I first walked in the building and talked to the receptionist, who's a, who's a pretty good friend of mine, she went to school with my mother, or actually my aunt, but same school, just a year, two years before my mom. So she knows, I think she remembers my mom, but she definitely knows my aunt. Anyway, doesn't matter. She's always been really nice to me. She's a ray of sunshine, basically. She's very upbeat all the time. But she uh, showed me this um, faith passage in this Bible that she's reading. It's, I can't remember the author. It's just a different type of Bible, like a learning Bible maybe or whatever. I don't even know. Anyway, she shared, shared that with me because she saw that She could tell that I was down. I was just on the verge of tears once again. And um, I told her that my husband had his appointment today. And I'd just been, even though I'm trying to, you know, give it to God and let him, you know, it's in his, whatever is his will, okay? I, I'm stumbling over my words. I apologize. And I know that. But I can't help but be nervous, and so this morning has just been rough. Um, and earlier my husband called, oh, sorry. In talking with her, I asked her to give me a piece of paper and a pen. And I wrote down the word faith, up and down ways, up and down ways, um, vertically, <laughs> F-A-I-T-H. And I wrote down forsaking all I take him and I just gave it to her and then I'm like I gotta go back I gotta get to work I gotta go back to my desk so I uh after I s <laughs> after I gave her that note and walked through the doors um into the actual office part we have badge entry system so um I seriously started to feel really weak, like I wanted to fall, <sighs> weak at the knees, just, it was weird, it was an, it was a weird feeling, I just wanted to, just drop to my knees, but I made it to my desk, and I just, you know, I put on some music, and I just tried to relax, but I mean, I did okay, I got through, 
but I tell you what, my eyes just hurt, and so now I'm at lunch, I'm, I'm, uh, I got the same thing as yesterday, a pita with, um, ham, turkey on it, mustard, and a few of those, um, veggie straws, I hope you can see me, um, one thing I've noticed, though, with, with work, um, I tend to, let's just say I'm not completely healed of emotional eating because I can't say that I have pinpointed the emotion like yesterday afternoon or yesterday morning, I mean, um, but I got the almonds out crunchy. I, I wanted crunchy and so I had some almonds and I ate that. So it's not completely horrible, but, um, it's too bad I don't like carrots or something because that would probably be a better option or celery. Um, but yeah, the crunch, the crunch is what I was craving, um, or wanting. It's weird. I don't know. Um, and I didn't eat a whole lot. I did, you know, I ate consciously, I guess, but I, I wanted that crunch. I would have picked the almonds over a chocolate chip cookie or a brownie if someone put it in front of me. I would have. I wanted the crunch. And so that's what I'm liking about these veggie straws too. They're crunchy. So I don't know. Um, that kind of thing. You know what I mean? I wanted to hear it, I guess. I don't know. It sounds weird. But all right. I'm going to finish driving around a little bit and eat my lunch. And um, I will certainly come back on here later as soon as I find something out and um, my husband was having problems with his new phone so um, something tells me it won't be till later after I'm out of work till I find out but I love you guys um, I've been thinking about a lot of you all of you <laughs> this morning and um, and it helps it does I just wish I had a group of you here right now group hug <laughs> all right I'll see you later Love you hey guys, it's 5 o'clock somewhere and that somewhere is here. I'm going home. I'm headed home. Actually, it's 5.30, but uh, still have this freaking headache and I am actually a little bit ornery about it. I'm very tired of it and uh, I even went to the point of getting some caffeine this afternoon at work. Yeah didn't touch it. So, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, it's like railroad tracks. Sorry. Um, it feels like it's just everywhere. It's like there's a spot over here on the side where if I rub it, it's very sensitive and tender. Um, but yet I feel it behind my eyes, my eyes, my neck. I just feel it all over. I, d I don't even know what what type of headache it is right now. But it's... I don't like it. So... Uh, I took an 800 milligram Motrin at work earlier before lunch. And then I also took a decongestant. You know, sinus pressure type of pill. Neither one of them helped. So... Anyway, I'll be back when I get home. My husband is trying to fix my laptop. Right? Hard drive replacement? Yeah. That's what this is. Yeah. So, hoping for no, it's not one where a you good turnout. Just pull it out from the side. So. You gotta tear it apart. Lovely. Keyboard, everything sitting over there. <sighs> Football. We are blue. We are at an away game. Look at how tiny their marching band is. Very small marching bands. Five color guard members. We are in small countries, even smaller than where we live.
pretty sunset. Van Geek friends. Okay, can't see very well because obviously I'm on the opposing side. And their band is very small. I can't even hear their other instruments aside from percussion. Of course, I have a little screaming kid behind me. Grr. Okay, so... I think I see one trombone player, I think, I thought, that's hard to see. Anyway, for my band geek friends, bye. Hey everyone, just got back from the football game, holy crap. It's 11.05pm, so, oh, it, you know, I think it was like maybe 35-40 minute drive to where we had to go for the game, and um, <laughs> we went because... Well, Kara and a friend wanted to go, and because it's territory that Kara hadn't drive, driven in before, we um, felt better driving them. So she was alright with that. And um, so, yeah, we went to the game. We normally go to football games anyways, just because it's something we enjoy doing. Um, um, my favorite part, of course, is the marching band, because I am a band geek through and through. Um, I played clarinet in high school, but I have a desire to learn alto sax. I actually have an alto sax. I just have to learn how to play it. Um, which I have not done much of. Anyway, um, the game was going pretty good. Um, there was like six minutes left in the game. Um, and we were ahead 28 to 21 at that point and it was the fourth quarter of course I just said yeah never mind but my daughter wanted to leave they wanted to kind of get out of there and we were like nah let's just go so we did end up leaving early but um, we found out that we actually lost in overtime by one point 49 to 48 something like that um, so it, the the official fourth quarter ended at 35 to 35, so it went into overtime. And I didn't realize it at first, but they play a full quarter, I guess. They don't do, like, first point wins or anything like that. I'm not all that knowledgeable with high school football. You'd think I would be by now, but my daughter was cheerleader and in band, so that's kind of where I spent my eyes watching. Anyway, um, <laughs> but I do know that... There were a lot of bad calls by the refs. It sucked. And I kept hearing it all around me. Not only by my husband, but everybody. The people that actually know about the game. <laughs> I'm not going to pretend to know enough to, to explain exactly what the calls were. But I do know that they, um, I mean, we could have essentially had uh, three touchdowns. They called back three of them for I don't know what reasons, but whatever the plays were, the bad, the calls, what, I don't know, I'm sorry, so I'm not going to pretend I know, I'm just going to say the game was stupid, the refs were partial in my opinion, and that's that. Um, both of us, my husband and I both, had a headache throughout the game. He's had a horrible headache almost every other day, and his is a result of the neck problems. I mean, he used to go to pain clinic every three months and get shots in his neck area, um, occipital blocks. Well, those had to stop because of insurance reasons or whatever. I don't exactly... whatever. So he hasn't had them in, like, well, over three months, over six months, I think. And so he gets frequent headaches and with this latest thing with his heart and being so nerved up the last couple weeks or almost couple weeks um, he's been dealing with a lot of headaches too so both of us have had a headache you know mine started back up a couple days ago I didn't have too many during my vacate my well my time off um, but anyway besides the point um, 
So we were sitting there and this one little kid was just constantly banging the back of the metal bleachers and we were both like, are you kidding me? Please stop doing that. We could handle the cheering and whatnot, but this one little kid was just pounding the back of the bleacher thing all the time. Anyway, so, but my headache lightened up. It's still there, but it's not quite as bad. Um, so I've been able to, you know, rest and, um, well, ease up a little bit. My husband and I talked a little bit and it was brought up that the whole situation that happened back in 2005 was already seven years ago. He asked me, was the headache because it's around that time of, you know, like the anniversary of when he was, you know, strayed, um, because this is right around that time. I'm like, I don't know, but I did have a dream last night that he left with some other young girl. A young girl I didn't really know, but still. And, you know, so I ended up getting all teary-eyed when he, you know, when I told him that. I just remember praying that, when, you know, when he left with the girls all the time, I would pray that I didn't lose two people at once, meaning him and my mom, because my mom was so sick. So he's like, well, God worked because I listened, and now, you know, things are good again. And so we had a nice little moment there at the game, but I did cry. I'm very emotional about that still, apparently, obviously. And I don't know why I had a dream like that. I don't understand that, but, it, you know, it, it did. It scared me. Um, so anyway. <sighs> but, speaking of his heart, I did post on Facebook, so some of you that are friends with me on Facebook already know. Um, he did go to the doctor today, and the doctor um, said that she doesn't see any... Um, concern of blockage or anything like that, but did say to, you know, monitor, keep up regular activities and just monitor things. If things get worse, they'll send them for a stress test. Um, so it is a relief, um, but it's still, he got really mad. He got really mad. He's like, I have to go back and apologize because I went off on them because apparently for those of you who don't know, my husband had gastric bypass weight loss surgery back in 2002. And since then, um, his iron count's been a little bit low, but his blood work has been consistently the same every time since then. Well, because of our doctor's office has combined with other facilities in the area, they're all under one roof now, and the person that looked at his blood work results, you know, when they first came in over a week ago, she like immediately, not knowing my husband's history and not looking at his chart, immediately like freaked out thinking, oh my gosh, he must have colon cancer, blah, 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 you need to see the doctor. Called him, said, you need to come in Friday, blah, blah, blah. And so all this time we have been on edge, not knowing, blah, 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 and turns out it was the blood count were absolutely fine. It's just she didn't look at his record to see that he had had that surgery and so, you know, she didn't know to look for that. And he was so pissed. He was so pissed. So, so pissed because he's like, do you realize how long we have been stressed and nervous and we both have been having headaches and you know he's like this is ridiculous you guys need to look at your records and get to know your patients this is stupid I mean I don't know exactly what he said but he said he he went off on the doctor he was so upset and he's like but I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't handle it I was just that mad and I know it's not the doctor's fault um you know she's not in charge of that facility um and she's really nice to us. She's a good doctor. We like her. But that other person that looked at the blood work and just jumped to a conclusion was ridiculous. So anyways, that's where we are right now. And um, today has been one gut-wrenching, emotional day. I cried, I think, three or four different times. Um, when I got home and sat on the couch and I read... Um, a couple of your comments to my status in Facebook 
I, you know, praise God, God is good, blah, blah, blah. I, just, I lost it right there on the couch. My daughter's sitting across from me. My husband's next to me, and I just start crying. And I'm like, Kara's looking at me, and I'm like, it's just me right now. It's this whole, it's everything. I'm just letting go, letting loose, I guess. And, you know, I just have been so nervous and scared. And God is good, and I am, I'm relieved. And, um, so, there you have it. Um, there is a video that my niece shared with me. Actually, there's two videos. And they're they're on YouTube. One is like only four and a half minutes, I think, and the other one's like 45 minutes. And I don't know if any of you have seen them or not, but those that, I'm, and I'm not saying you have to watch them by any means, but I am going to um, put the links in the description box because I would, if you haven't seen them, I would like um, you believers, I would like your thoughts on it if you choose to watch it. It's totally up to you and if you don't, no big deal. I just, um, the 45 minute one, I gotta go back and watch again because I was so tired last night that I didn't make it through the whole thing and absorbed it, but anyway, it's from a young guy um, and I think it is titled, I think it's actually titled something about like why I hate religion but love Jesus and the one video that's only four and a half minutes or whatever is kind of a rap that he did, you know, like a musical rap. Um, and then the other one that's 45 minutes is kind of like a follow up to explain it. And actually he's talking, he's speaking to a congregation in Florida. I don't know what one. I don't remember. But I don't know. Maybe you guys have heard of these or seen them or whatever. Um, maybe you haven't. Um, I'm kind of a uneducated, sometimes lost sort of person. So I just, I guess I'm just kind of curious. So totally up to you. But anyway, um, you guys rock. I love you guys truly for your prayers, well wishes, whatever it is you do and send my way. I really do appreciate it. I love your support and I love your friendship and yeah. So thanks for caring. Thanks for being so kind and compassionate and please keep me in you. Um, you guys are amazing and so am I. And, um, <laughs> not trying to be arrogant, just realizing that I'm a good person. As much as my emotions go like this, um, this whole headache thing, if it's, if it's all in my head, like, um, or not necessarily just in my head, but if it's a result of me just you know, like my fault. You know what I mean? Like I'm worrying too much. I'm fearing too much. I'm, if, if I am creating my own tension, then I need to, you know, that's my goal. I need to work on that. That's what I want to do. So, um, yeah, I hope you know what I'm trying to say. Cause I don't think I do, but anyway, another long video at you, you guys rock and I will see you tomorrow for Saturday. Oh, yeah, it's weigh-in day tomorrow, and it's not going to be good. I didn't even talk about my food today. The past couple days, I I didn't put a lot of emphasis on staying within certain things. I didn't eat completely horrible. I didn't eat completely well. I just kind of fell somewhere in between and didn't even give a second thought to anything, really. I'll be honest with you. So, it is what it is tomorrow. Um, peace, love, plenty of smiles. And we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.